what's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to tutorial 74 so guys in this tutorial I'll be going to talk about one very new and uh, very interesting topic I'll be not going to show you guys any code on Python or any cipher query so rather than that I'll be going to show you guys uh, how you can run your Neo4j from uh, inside uh, inside a docker container how to run a Neo4j inside a docker container for example the use case is that for example you don't you don't want to uh, download or install neo4j in your local machine or anywhere uh, maybe in the cloud or somewhere else or rather than that you just want to uh, pick a image from docker hub and after that you want to uh, access those uh, uh, images by uh, running it from a docker container so this is going to be very interesting tutorial and those are having some difficulties to like install or assign some sort of memory if they are using some uh, like old generation machine for them this is definitely going to be useful okay so one more reason for this thing is guys uh, recently uh, neo4j 4.1 has been released so i don't want to install that update uh, version or, or rather than i don't want to upgrade my existing neo4j but i want to like uh, see how the application works so that that, that is why i just want to uh, see it like how we can uh, do this thing using docker and this is also going to be a new tutorial for uh, till now i haven't talked about uh, dockerization with uh, neo neo4j so this is uh, going to be very hands-on driven so just stay tuned and watch uh, carefully and this is going to be very useful and very uh, easy tutorial so uh, first of all we need to download the neo4j image uh, from the docker hub the url has been given over here so you guys can just uh, like uh, navigate through this thing and we'll get this thing so if you see i've already over here so what i'll do i'll just uh, 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 like go ahead and copy paste okay so just go ahead like click here and after that i have to just click here i think not this one maybe uh, i can create a new window i can paste here i can so this is now getting the image from the docker hub so right so it's working so right now we are just downloading the image okay so once this is done then we'll uh, uh, write the command to execute the docker image inside a docker container okay so we'll see it in few minutes so let it finish first and after that we'll go ahead and uh, uh, do the remaining steps okay so still going on okay so few more seconds maybe yes maybe okay so almost completed few more second okay all done so now just to check how many images you are having in your system you have to write docker images okay so see i have only one images because in this machine i haven't downloaded anything so if i just make it this thing so neo4j uh, this is tag is latest image id is this thing this thing so now uh, i want to run this thing actually okay so be before that let me just uh, show you guys uh, so what i'll do i will just uh, show you guys that uh, there is not no no more neo4j instance running in our machine so if i click this thing see nothing is happening it means in my uh, system i haven't uh, installed any neo4j instance okay so after this thing what you have to do you have to just go here and there is some uh, uh, okay so how to use this image we have to just copy and paste this thing don't need to remember or hard code anything everything is given here so after that you have to just paste this thing okay but here you can actually do something else i just want to give one allies name to our container so what i'll do so i will just do it this then name and maybe i can write neo4j and then hyphen test okay so now let's run this thing so i have uh, executing so right now it is being executed see it is getting started so maybe within in a couple of seconds or maybe 10 or 15 seconds everything will be up and running and we'll be able to access our neo4j okay and the initial id and password will be neo4j neo4j okay and even you can change this thing uh, i don't know from where maybe in some documentation it is written but uh, you can change the password as well okay so by default it is neo4j neo4j here and if you want to disable this authentication you can use this thing here okay so everything is given in this tutorial actually i have uh, pasted this url over here so it will be easier for you okay 
so it is already started now our job is to access our new 4 j so what i'll do i will just go to this url and just refresh this thing see i can easily able to access new 4 j okay so now probably it will ask me to uh, change my this thing uh, what do you say like uh, password maybe okay so no it is not asking me for, for me to change the password cause uh, uh, i'm not sure why this is not asking for the password maybe uh, uh, next time maybe asking so what i'll do match maybe i already installed last time and after that i just deleted uh, the container so that is why maybe it is not asking so you can make it like this so return n So there is nothing so what i'll do i'll just create a new incognito window over here and after that i'll just try to open this thing let's see how it is happening okay so now it is asking for username and password okay so it should be new 4j and maybe i can change it to new 4j okay so in, in my browser actually the username and password is given from my last instance so that is it is taking this thing and it is not asking for anything so i am giving this thing uh, client is authorization due to okay uh, mm, maybe okay it's working uh, so see i was able to access so if you are using the same browser session uh, sorry same browser so from the cookie or the this i'm just using mac so that is why it is automatically uh, using the password but here actually i'm using the incognito mode so that is why it's asking for me the password so what i'll do now i'll just try to show you guys after accessing the docker thing uh, sorry after running this thing from the docker how to see how many uh, like uh, containers are running so if you just write docker and after that ps and just make it like this and if you see here okay so it's running so in the name okay okay so there is one useful thing here so you have to just mention this ports or else you will be not able to use this thing it means the local 7.74 uh, is mapped to the uh, container 7.74 and the local 7.6.8.7 is actually uh, going to map to it this thing so that is if you don't mention this thing then i'll be not able to access this port from the outside like uh, neo4j is actually running in my uh, machine uh, not in my machine in, in my machine inside a container but i'm accessing this url from my local machine browser and this 7474 actually mapped with this 7474 port in the container so that is why i'm just able to access if you don't mention this thing it will not work okay so just remember this thing and those are coming from microservice or like container background for devops framework for them it will be easy i'm not going to discuss this thing but if this is going to be very handy if someone is already working in neo4j and just because neo4j is already supporting this sort of technology it is always good to use and plug and play with this thing so that is i'm just doing this thing so now next thing is that how to access neo4j cell from docker right uh, okay inside which is running uh, inside the docker container okay so for this thing you have to write docker then probably ex ec i don't remember the command maybe execution then et then uh, this thing neo4j hyphen test so maybe neo4j hyphen test okay uh, require at least two arguments i'm not sure if i just make it everything perfect or not let me just remember this thing uh, this is right um, maybe uh, I'm not sure this looks okay maybe um, I think let's see if I did something wrong uh, mm, new for the docker uh, it's, it's fine I'm not sure it's fine this is also fine mm. Mm. something else okay 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 so actually i want to access new for the cell so that is why i have to mention fa so that is what is saying at least two uh, arguments so see now it is going to be accessed just wait for some time so it is fine now so now i want to access cypher cell if when you get this hash then you will see that it is already connected to the new 4 j cell now you want to access cypher cell so for that you have to write uh, cypher f h mm, maybe cypher sh or uh, maybe uh, let's say cell actually okay 
So now it will ask for user ID and password. Yes, it is asking for user ID and password. Okay, and then uh, I am typing my user ID and password. So it is connected. So see, now I am already connected. So I can write the same query again. Match then maybe return then and here you have to mention within semicolon or else it will not work see it is not written anything so what i'll do and i'll just create try to create something so create then maybe i'll can write student and here we'll just write something let's say name ronnie okay so i'm just creating it from the url so one label created one not created one property created that's it fine so we'll now try to search the same thing from here and we should get this thing written okay see student name ronnie is getting returned so this is quite cool actually we created this thing from our neo4j browser using our local machine browser and here also i'm accessing the same thing from my local machine but i'm actually accessing the shell actually cipher shell which is actually running inside a docker container so what i'll do i'll just take a take a copy paste of this thing actually okay so this is probably 10 minute tutorial but this is going to be very handy so what i'll do i'll just try to put uh, one more duplicate slide here i'll just remove this part and i will uh, maybe i can do something i can just uh, take a screenshot of this thing like this so okay so now what i'll do i'll just try to put this thing here so you guys will be able to you guys will be able to understand what is actually happening so let me come here screenshot this is fine yes right so i will keep this thing here maybe yes maybe it is fine okay maybe i can make it a bit bigger and let's okay fine so that's it guys this is very simple let me just reiterate this thing you have to go to this go to this url and once you go to that url you will get this thing the download link and but before that you have to install docker if you do not install docker it will not be going to work so i've already installed docker so that is because of that my docker this command is working if you're not using uh, or having docker or not having this docker thing then definitely will get uh, like some sort of common not found error so whether you are using mac or windows you have to download docker and you can install after downloading this thing so once the download is done you have to just uh, sorry once the installation is completed on docker you have to just download this thing using docker pool neo4j once this is done you can run this thing using this thing if you want to change user id and password you can use this thing here okay by default it is this and after that what will happen uh, if you want to run uh, your uh, like uh, if you want to access the neo4j shell from uh, command prompt or your terminal you have to just use this thing and after that you can do whatever see i've just written this query over here and i got able to do this thing so same thing i can even uh, can create this thing here as well so what i'll do i'll just uh, i will just try to uh, uh, let's say create one more thing uh, maybe we can uh, create let's say uh, maybe uh, something like uh, uh, Rohan and like this okay let's let's come here test this thing okay sorry cause i haven't put the semicolon so semicolon is going to be very important so definitely it will throw error see one property created now i will uh, try to see now the two nodes will be written see ronnie and rohan both so now i can do whatever i want i can do easily from our uh, this shell i don't need this thing but just for this representation for example 
I want to see something like uh, the, some graph or something like that for that example I know this thing okay this is this graph thing that is why I need this thing okay here okay okay so that's it guys probably we can uh, continue the normal or usual tutorial from the next session okay just to uh, give you guys some sort of like uh, uh, different flavor within our course i just created this tutorial and i believe this is also going to be very useful for those those are actually want to like install neo4j and inside your local machine but that too inside a container for them this is going to be very super cool super trendy so just try to uh, like um, practice this thing there is nothing to do practice just try to uh, like install this thing run this thing play around with this thing you will definitely uh, like uh, get some sort of fun to do it okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video and from the next video we'll continue our normal series and till then take care goodbye and have a nice day